stories and I'm so excited to get started on this week's math stories. Put your eyes on the story problem as I am reading, thinking about what do we know and what we're trying to figure out. Jordan had some marbles, 64 of them are red and 33 are blue. How many marbles are in his collection altogether? Let's read that story problem together one more time. Jordan had some marbles. 64 of them are red and 33 are blue. How many marbles are in his collection altogether? Pause the video and think about what do we already know and what we're trying to figure out. Good, I'm so happy you took time to stop and think what do we know and what are we trying to figure out? So. Tell me, what is something that we already know from the story problem? Yes, we know that 64 of Jordan's marbles are red. And we also know that 33 of Jordan marbles are blue. And what are we trying to figure out? Yes, we're trying to figure out how many marbles are in his collection all together. So we need to represent our story problem next. As Ms. Coombs is drawing out our part for our whole box, I want you to think about where does each number from our story problem go and why? Where does a 64 go in our part for our whole box and why? Tell me. Yes, so the 64 goes as a part because that, that's um, his red marbles. And the 33 goes as a part because those are his other set of marbles. And we don't know the whole yet because that's how much he has all together. So our box represents the unknown. Our box represents the yes. Now go ahead and pause the video. As the video is paused, I want you guys to think about what number sentence can I write to represent my part part whole box. So go ahead and tell me what number sentence can I write to represent my part part whole box? Yes, you are right. I can do 64 plus 33 equals, we don't know yet, our unknown whole. I want you guys to think about what strategy can I use to help me find the unknown? What strategy can I use to help me find the unknown? Wow, I heard you guys telling me your strategy. So I heard someone say you can count on, we can count, That's a good one. I'm going to use that strategy. So we know that we have 64 red marbles and 33 blue marbles. Red marbles, blue marbles. And I can count on to help me get to that number. 
So we already know 64. I'm gonna start at 64 when I'm counting on because it's the bigger number and 33 is smaller so it can help me get to my hole faster because I'm starting at the bigger number. I'm gonna box in my start number. 64 plus 33. So should I go 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73? Should I keep going? Why not? Yes, you are absolutely correct. That's gonna take too long, right? So we have to count on a more efficient way. So what's one way I can count on by? You got that right. We can count on by tens. We can count on by, yes, tens. So we have 64, 74, 84, 94. Should I draw another 10? Yeah. Is this three tens in 33? 94. And I'm gonna represent my ones. 95, 96, 97. So we counted on 33. And the last number out of my mouth is my whole. The last number out of my mouth is my, yes, my whole. So let's do it again. Let's practice counting on again. So we already have 64, so we say 64, 74, 84, 94, 91, excuse me, 94, 95, 96, 97. The last number out of my mouth is my whole, is my, so we know that Jordan has 97, 97 marbles in his collection. What's the strategy that we use today? Yes, the strategy that we use today is called count on, called count as you are doing your story problem today, I want you guys to think about on your own, how can you use that count on strategy to help you solve this story problem? Listen to this story problem as I read. Some children were playing soccer. 16 were girls and 14 were boys. How many children were playing? Some children were playing soccer. 16 were girls and 14 were boys. How many children were playing? Who's gonna use that strategy that we learned today? Who's gonna chart it? That's the strategy we learned today to help us find how many children were playing all together. See you in the next video, second grade.